Hello. Are you there, Amy? Hey, Jared. How are you? Hey. Um, sorry about. I just missed your call then, but uh, I was just sitting right by the phone. I don't know how I missed it. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I'm not that bright, all right? Um, so I'm just waiting for Tess to actually walk into the studio, and as soon as she's in, I'll give her the phone, okay? Is oh, that that's... Graham, by the way? Yes, it is. How are you, Jerry? Nice. You all right? Yeah, good, thanks. Nice to chat to you, mate. So I'm literally just waiting for her to walk. I think she's doing an interview with Prince or something, so... Um, with Prince? Yeah. Or, I don't know if it's on the phone talking, and then... Uh, when I say Prince, someone's interviewing here and then writing it down. Oh, I got you. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not Prince, the artist. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought she's doing an interview with Prince. <laughs> Jesus, it's big time. Then, then she's going to talk to us monkeys. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, no, with Prince. I got you. I got yeah. you. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that makes us feel a lot better anyway. Otherwise, the pressure would really be on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just on our way down now, guys. Yeah, no Lovely. Worries. Is she nice? Yeah. Is she quite a nice person? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the response I always like is like, say, say you're interviewing somebody called, let's for argument's sake, just say Brian. You go, is Brian nice? What's Brian like? And they go, Brian is Brian. And you know, Ooh. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love that response. Hey, what are other people like? Are they horrible? They're, no, they're not bad actually. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's um, good to know. So whereabouts in Liverpool are you from? Uh, I'm actually from a place called Kirby. Oh, yeah, I know Kirby. Um, you know Kirby, yeah? Where yeah. are you from, Graham? Well, I was born in Egbeth, but I, I, I yeah, grew up, you sound as well. <laughs> I grew up in Great Sankey near Warrington, so I'm a woolly, really. Ah, oh, right, because yeah. I've just been living in, um, not far from Egbeth, uh, this, for the last six months, and I've just moved down to London about two months ago. Yeah. But, uh, but I emigrated to New Zealand, you see. When was high that? School there. That was, uh, back in 95, we first moved, and then I came, I've been going back and forth since about, 2005? Well, I lived in Whangarei for seven years. Oh, really? Yeah, I worked at Marsden Point. I was a pipe fitter on the oil refinery. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were in Auckland. And, <laughs> yeah. Um, I've just, I've been working in radio there, you see, the last few years. Did oh, you, who did wow. you work for? I, I ended up going down. I was working for George FM in Auckland and uh-huh. Media Works, which is like more FM in Rotorua. And yeah. I went down to the South Island to work for a station called Port FM. Right. But, um... I didn't really like the South Island at all. Really? Well, a couple of my yeah. good mates are JJ and Dom. I've been on their show a lot. Uh, in fact, last oh, time yeah? I was, last time I was in New Zealand, I was I was on the breakfast show with them. Um, oh, great! J- at the Edge, JJ and Dom, they're great fun. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. They are good. They do a great show. Actually, they've got that guy Mike with them, don't they? That's right, JJ, Mike, and Dom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What yeah. did you do for the radio station? Uh, what did I do? Yeah. yeah. I was, I was a presenter, believe it or not, but oh. I uh, spoke a bit, spoke a bit more clearly than I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, how about that, eh? Got, we're like twins, yeah. got the New Zealand experience and everything. I never worked on the air over there. I got into radio in Australia. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, what was that like? I've heard that's good. Yeah, it's good fun. I started out at 2PK Parks in, in the central western New South Wales, and I went down to South Australia. I finished up just north of Sydney, the central coast, 2GO at Gosford. Great. Good fun. Yeah. Yeah. You can say what you want and people don't care. <laughs> well, yeah, they do now and again. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. I did a night show at 2GO, which was great, because I was, what have they got a bloody pommy on there for? <laughs> Talking to talk, talk, all the drunks, it was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you poms, you back at this country. What do you mean? Oh, you brought your bloody diseases and your rabbits. Hey, hang on a minute. I only just got here. It's your ancestors that buggered this country, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was good fun. A lot of phones and, uh, lot of, in fact, on my website, macmedia.co.uk, I got a lot of audio from, uh, from all the stations I worked out in Australia, from 2PK and 5C and 2GO. Good yeah. fun, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Alright guys, so Tess is just walking through now. Look you know at what? That. I'll just leave the phone, I'll leave the phone on the desk, okay? Perfect. Bye. Yeah. We'll pick it up. Cheers, mate. Bye. Alright guys, you'll talk to you soon. Okay. Okay then. Thank you for thanking for getting the taxi. Didn't I said you want me to? Oh yes, please. Don't look high. Oh, you might have done. Yes, please. Please, um, if you don't mind. Okay. This is where they are. Just gone to the loo. Where you need to wear your phone. Has she gone for a pee? I don't know. Did she take the phone? <clears throat> oh no, she's still in there. Is she waiting for us to walk in? Tess. She's just coming. She's oh, coming. oh, we weren't, we weren't sure. sure. We weren't sure if, if she'd taken the phone to the loo, and we thought, well, that would be embarrassing tape to have. That that would be a little bit awkward. Yes. Um, Hearing Tess do a daily. 
<laughs> no, that's lovely. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Lucy. Hi, I Lucy. Ah, ah, how are you, Lucy? Hi, Lucy. I'm good, thanks. I'm good. So you're left to look after... Waiting. That's all right. So you're left to look after the celebrities? I am. Oh, yes. how do you that's find my, that? That's my job. Do you like it's it? Fine. It's good, yeah. Yeah. Are they nice? Most, yeah, most <laughs> most of them are. The worst one ever was... Uh, oh, really? Everybody else is generally quite nice. Why oh. was such a handful? He's quite demanding. Bit of a diva. Oh, uh, really? What did he demand? He demanded a half an avocado, a handful of mixed leaves, a tablespoon of sun-dried tomatoes, and a pinch of Himalayan rock salt to every litre of bottled water. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> kidding. <laughs> That's wow. ridiculous. Wow. And what could he possibly need these things for? Oh. oh. I've got Tess here now. So Fantastic. I'm just gonna pass. She's just going to get herself all sorted in the studio and I'll pass you over. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. Hi, Hello. Tess. How are you? Hi. I'm how Amy. Are you? I'm very well. Thank This is all very new, isn't it? I'm Amy and uh, with Graham. Hello. How are you, Tess? You all right? Hi, guys. Yeah. Uh, Where oh. are you? Based? We're in Hertfordshire, but oh, the radio station uh, does Hearts Beds and Your Own Books and North Ants. So we're Home County's radio station. Oh, lovely. Yeah. yeah. We were uh, we were hoping to come and see you because we bought you some uh, Victoria sponge cakes because we're team oh. Victoria oh. sponge. Oh, God, I'd give anything for some of that right now. I'm starving. Oh, bless really? you. All right. Well, oh, we're, yeah. We're rolling right now. So, Tess Daly, welcome to the show. Hello. Thanks for having me. Can we quickly talk about Strictly? Oh, let's please. Come okay. <laughs> the curse of Strictly. Is it real? Oh, oh. <laughs> you go in there, are you? What curse would that be? You know the one I mean, where, where, where married people end up single people because of Strictly. Oh, I don't think so, no. But the curse doesn't exist. I don't, well, I'm, I'm not aware of it. <laughs> it's happened enough times, though, hasn't it? Has it? Who with? Susanna happened oh, with? Oh, yeah, yeah, she Susanna left her husband, didn't she? Yeah. She ran off with a dancer. Hold on a second. Sorry, I lost you there, I think. Oh, no, it's just we had Susanna ran off with um, one of the dancers, and there's been rumours that there's quite a few that tend to do it. And we thought, I don't oh, think no. there's any truth in that, and I'm not here to talk about any of that. Uh, how are you getting on working with Claudia? I'm loving working with Claudia. She's just great. What's going on with Claudia's hair? What do you mean? Well, the fringe comes down, the fringe goes up, the eyes go dark, the eyes go light. It seems like she can't make her mind up, or is this a stylist getting involved here? Uh, I don't know. I, I think she trimmed a fringe for the show uh, before we went into the show, but I think I think she looks great. I think she's fabulous. And why should it always be about what a woman looks like? Do men get judged in that right way? I don't think so. Oh, I think <laughs> if my fringe went up and down, though, I, you'd have something to say, though, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, if you said what's going on with your fringe, it was up yes, It's down yeah. today. But uh, again... Right, I'm going to have to go in a minute, guys. I'm being told. Oh. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Well, seriously, do you know, I... You didn't take to test, did you? No. No, I didn't. Well, she liked you a damn sight better than she liked me. Yeah. She couldn't stand me. Mm, that was... Sh the curse of Strictly? What's that? She knows what I'm on about. Yeah. Yeah, she's been told exactly what to say and how to say it and saying I'm not going to talk about that. Okay, fair enough. I felt, felt she was quite aggressive. It's like she felt threatened by us. Yeah. She was. She's, she's not how I thought she was going to be. No. I'm quite disappointed. You, are you just? Uh, yeah. You shouldn't meet your heroes. No, no, you shouldn't. Well, she's never been a hero. No. But you know, I guess however many years she's been in the industry since she was 18, so she's been primed with what to say and how to say and how to deal with journo's. She was bad news. I mean, I've interviewed a lot of people, mm. and I've done a lot of bad interviews. But that's got to be the worst. That was tough. Yeah. She had this hard shell on, definitely. The only good thing we can say is we were planning to go down and we were going to go down on the train and yeah. do it in person. Wow, what a wasted day we would have had. And my day started badly anyway. Imagine if it finished, that, that's the way it finished. Yeah. I would have been climbing the walls. Well, I said to her first, can we talk about Strictly? She says, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then I go, curse of Strictly. 
which is what everyone is talking about. You brought it up yeah. in showbiz. It's not just this season. It's been for about the past four seasons. Yeah. It's been an, a talking and point. And you know what? She could have said, oh, that's just a load of rubbish. Yeah, yeah they have a load of fun. We, we get on with dances. Roll it's not a problem. It. But instead she went, what I don't mean? want to talk about that. No, first you... of all, she went, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. As if, like, she'd not heard about it. What curse is this then? And then she does, then she goes, then she goes, hang on, I've lost you for a minute. She closed the mic and at her end. Yeah. You know, and then she went, uh, no, I don't, I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah. Do you know what? I was going to invite her to come in and spend some more time with us, but I don't no, know. No, 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 no. I'm no, done no. now. No, 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 no. Tess Daly. I never liked bloody Strictly anyway. I thought it would be. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I can't tell you. And nothing like I imagined. I imagined this wholesome, really nice, warm, uh, mother figure that just kind of would be really nice. No, nothing like that. And considering Vernon is so funny and outgoing and they look like this wholesome couple, I actually think she's a... <laughs>